So the idea of the exhibition is not to explore Marie Antoinette as Queen of France, um, the history of the Queen, but more about her image. Why has her image managed to go through 200 years of history and still remain today one of the most popular images of um, iconic images of popular culture? She set trends with her wigs, her extravagant clothes. Um, in the exhibition itself, we showed the Gazette of the Queen, the Le Gazette des Atours de la Reine. Uh, it shows samples of fabric that she personally would choose, which would then be uh, confectioned into um, her court attire. The last 10 weeks of her life was spent here uh, as a prisoner before her trial and execution, but already a cult started to evolve around the image of the Queen, right through to the modern day uh, with images, for example, of Sofia Coppola and Kirsten Dunst, uh, a complete new take on the Queen. In terms of her wedding itself, personally I don't have any particular image of the Queen. I don't recall any particular engravings of this. Uh, obviously I witnessed accounts, but marriages were not grand affairs uh, with the famous white dress that we see today. In the 18th century it was very different. She would have probably just been wearing, wearing a court dress. The first royal famous customer of Bellario was uh, obviously Marie Antoinette. Uh, in spite this time we don't have uh, original archive, but the story goes that way. Merario was uh, protected by all the kings and kings of France from um, Marie de Medici in 1613, and she granted privileges to the Melarios, and from that date, every king or queen of France reattributed these privileges to the Melarios up to Louis XVI. Up to Louis the Sixteenth. So in our collection of uh, heritage pieces, we have the great privilege to have this bracelet, uh, which belonged to Marie Antoinette, and uh, which is made of seven cameos, which are antique ones, and set in a very typical of uh, 18th century silver mounting, and adorned with many uh, garnets with these red stones Marie Antoinette uh, used to like particularly.
He was May 6, 1785, when Florent Louis Heitzig, the founder of Piper Heitzig and Rare Champagne, came to see, to visit Versailles and the Queen Marie Antoinette and presented, you know, the most prestigious cuvee he had, which was uh, Rare Champagne. She was a luxury person, you know, with a very good taste. As we can see, you know, with her champagne, and um, for sure, you know, um, she would love champagne in, in every wedding. <laughs>